Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB. In this video, we are going to learn four ways to implement the Fibonacci series in Python without recursion. Number one, say you wanted to return a list of the Fibonacci sequence where n is the number of items in the list. To do that, you can start by defining a list with zero and one as the first two items. Next, insert into this list the addition of the previous two elements in a for loop where the for loop goes from range 2 to n plus 1. In this loop, I'm using i as the index variable. And finally, on line 6, I'm returning the fib underscore list. Let's run this program to see how the output looks like. Number 2, if you wanted to return the nth value using a list, just change the return statement to fib underscore list n in square brackets. Here I'm returning the seventh value of the Fibonacci series. Number three, say you wanted to return the nth value without using a list. To do that, you can make use of the a, b, and c variables. Here I'm initializing a to zero, b to one, and c to zero. Within the while n greater than one loop, I'm adding a plus b and assigning it to c. Next, b gets assigned to a, C gets assigned to B and N gets decremented by one. Let's execute this function to see how the output looks like. Number four, to return the nth value without using a third variable, you can make use of the tuple unpacking technique. Here, instead of using a third variable C to store the result of A plus B, I'm using A comma B equal to B comma A plus B statement on line 34. And on line 36, I'm returning the value of B. Let's execute this program so we can look at the output. Note, you can also add parentheses around the tuples if it makes it more readable for you. There you have it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.